Hmm. Is this enough or what? Michelle's sleeping. It's kind of early in the morning right now in lovely Virginia. So I figured I'd, I'd do a music vid. I just put a, uh, a cartridge in this turntable. This is the Pioneer uh, table that I picked up for cheap. And uh, I was just listening to it with uh, my first receiver. I've got a, a KR810 Kenwood was my first receiver. I got it age uh, 13, actually. I thought it was age 14, but it's age 13. And uh, I was listening through my headphones. The Grado headphones, fantastic. If you ever want to listen in private, um, or if you want to hear really the best sound you can ever get for under five grand in speakers, a set of 125, these are the 225s, but the uh, 125 or 225s are fantastic. Even the SR80s are good. Um, but the Grado headphones, very, very good. Be careful about the real high priced headphones because once you get on the retail market, once you get much above, uh, you know, $300, they actually start to have driver match issues. It gets, it gets, it's weird, but they almost, they almost get, uh, well, tweaky because in audio, don't forget, you can get, uh, if, if, if 100% of audio is perfect sound and 100% is perfect sound, don't forget, you can get to 80% pretty reasonably, that last 20%, especially that last 10%, becomes exponentially more expensive as you go along. By the way, right now, we're listening to Tangerine Dream, Phaedra. Um, I wanted to share a few, I gotta turn that down, I've got to, I've got an amplifier in my rack over there that, uh, brings the music over here. I've got two uh, silent speakers right above my head and a little bar here that goes through my main room. But anyway, I wanted to share some stuff that I picked up. Art Blakely. It's a whole... Uh, it's an RCA set. I've got these all in the good sleeves. Well, except for this one. This is an extra. But... Uh, it's, uh, they did a club in Germany. It's on the thick RCAs. It's really nice. I'm not sure how rare this is. If I know that some of you were really into the, to the, uh, I haven't looked to see if this is available still. If somebody's really interested in this, let me know and I'll see what I can do to get it to you. I'm not sure how rare that is. Couple things of note. This is a fairly early ten years after album. It's uh when was this? Do, 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 do. I forgot when this was. And I can't see right now, but it's a space and time anyway. Uh this is one of those rare things that I went through and when I looked at the jacket I thought, oh, the vinyl's got to be junk in there, and this was sticking out just like this. And I pulled it, and I looked, and even though this is not a good sleeve, the vinyl is like new. And I have to say that for me, this is the worst jacket that I've ever gotten where the vinyl was perfect. That might be a question for people. Um, What was the worst jacket you ever got that had mint vinyl inside? That might be a that might be a, a question to ask folks. Um, this one definitely was mine. There, there's there's absolutely no uh, man. I'm gonna have to put that together after. I'm not gonna be able to do that right now. Um, this I did not find in a bargain basement. 
If any of you find this, I have a standing offer of $50. You're not going to find it for $50, but Roger Waters, amused to death. Um, I probably have five records that are outstanding, like the perfect sound quality of any record that I've got. Five of them just head and shoulders above the rest. This is probably number one or number two right here. I have two of these. Um, these have gone for up to $400 on eBay. If you ever find one of these, even if it's scratched, even if one of them is cracked, buy it. Um, I've never seen this record below 150 bucks. That's the lowest I've ever seen it sell for. This was given to me out of a collection. A guy bought a collection of 300 and he said, oh, I don't want that stuff. He said, that's bubblegum music. Would you like it? And I looked through it and this was in the bubblegum pile. And I said, really? He goes, yeah. I said, well, let me give you something for it. He said, no, it's bubblegum music. I'll blow some bubbles, I guess. I mean, I chew some bubblegum, no problem. John Mayall. Anybody like him out there? Anybody like this fella? USA Union. I don't know what uh, what date this is, but it's it's a pretty old one. Anybody else get into the ventures? Walk, don't run. This is volume two, and this is uh, this is Liberty. This is 1964. And uh, this is a Japanese single. I don't know. I haven't seen too many of the Japanese pressings, but at least not on not not for you folks. But this has got an insert and everything. But Pearl Harbor '79, The Clash. This is a uh, this is pretty interesting. This was one of my first uh, Japanese releases that I got and I keep this one in the uh, I keep this one in the plastic even though it's plastic's pretty wasted I guess I need some sleeves or more sleeves I think I'm down to like 50 sleeves um, but it's pretty good and again here's another one you know I talk about a wasted 10 years after another wasted Wasted slip, and last but not least, um, some of you younger guys, I'm sure all the folks 35 and over will know this, but some of you younger guys that may not know it, um, you'll enjoy this record, Tom Tom Club. Grab it if you see it. Um, close to the bone. I mean, it's a, it's a, uh, <laughs> it's just a funky. Um, Basically, in case you don't know what the Tom Tom Club is, is the Talking Heads minus Burn, and uh, they—they they, I don't want to say disco, but they got funky. That's what they did. They kind of went almost a reggae-ish um, music that 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 doesn't take itself too seriously. You know, Tom Tom Club's kind of cerebral. Tom Tom Club is is like more of a a funky good time kind of thing so anyway uh that's about it for now and uh i'm gonna do another one in a minute i was asked about the turntable and a couple other things but uh that's it for now i'd be really interested to know if anybody's got 10 years after out there and uh let me know on the art blakely if, if any of you guys see this and drool over it let me know, the quality of this thing is very good for its age. Um, I was shocked, actually. I know that these are decent. Usually these sets, if they're the thick RCAs, are decent. Um, but this, was re this is really good. Uh, matter of fact, this sounds better than some of the mobile fidelities that I've heard. Um, it's, it's pretty good. So, let me know.